All right, we're back. We're still on page one of Calc D notes one. Calc D is multivariable calculus. It starts off with a ton of stuff about three dimensions, right? Because if you don't know three dimensions, it's going to be really hard to do multivariable calculus because that's all about three dimensional and more um, things, right? So we need to get our background information. So we talked about the right hand coordinate system. We talked about the coordinate planes. So the coordinate planes the XY plane is uh, the, the most basic one, and that's where you've graphed basically everything in your life. But now we're adding some more. So we have an XZ plane, we have a YZ plane. Uh, now we're gonna do a couple problems that have to do with uh, 3D coordinates, maybe use a little bit of vectors. Uh, I mentioned in the last video, uh, note 17 of math analysis is a really good thing to go back to. I think when you get to note 17, it will tell you to go back to notes uh, I don't really know. Like there, there's another notes in math analysis. It's about two dimensional vectors, which is probably also a really good idea to go back to. Um, Cause the, be the better the background information that you have, the background knowledge, the easier everything is gonna be. So let's see if we can do these problems a little bit from memory. So I'm assuming that you have reviewed at least one set, possibly two sets of notes. I'm assuming this is stuff that you've kind of done recently. So let's see if we can do it. Show that these three points are the vertices of an equilateral triangle, be neat and organized. All right, so step one, let's name these. So A, B, and C. All right, uh, so I mean, I'm, I'm just gonna use the distance formula, I think. Uh, so A, B is gonna be the square root of, so I don't know, it doesn't really matter, like one minus four squared, uh, seven minus five squared. Sometimes uh, because I'm, I guess a bad student, I just like flip them as I go and always do the bigger minus the smaller, even though like then I'm not consistently doing like B minus A or A minus B. I just prefer to get the positives. Uh, we don't really need, so it's gonna be nine, four and one. So radical 14, like we don't need to go crazy simplifying. We just need to show that all three of these are the same. So AC, uh, so we'll get two minus four squared plus four minus five squared plus five minus two squared. I guess I'll know if I get it wrong because I won't get the right answer. I mean, obviously, but four, one, nine. So it's like without simplifying that, we already knew it was the same. And then BC, uh, better give us the same. Right now we know it's an isosceles triangle. So that's, I don't know, is that half the battle? I guess that is half the battle. To get an equilateral triangle, first you have to have an isosceles triangle. And then you need that third side to like really come through. So this looks like it's gonna work out. Oh my God. I don't know, one plus nine plus four. Radical 14, okay, so. I mean, I guess we can make a statement since AB equals AC equals BC, the triangle, is that is that a common notation? <laughs> the triangle is equilateral. All right, I'm gonna look at this in two different ways also. So first way is I'm gonna use a calculator uh, and just kind of like review, uh, I'm gonna use the norm of vectors. So I'm gonna find the vector uh, AB, the vector AC, the vector BC, uh, and the norm of those vectors. So let's switch to a calculator and do that. And then I'm gonna switch to GeoGebra and just like look at it. So let's see. Um, so I'm gonna store the, the points as vectors in component form. So it'll be four, five, two. So for vector it's control and then open parenthesis to get uh, brackets, so B uh, colon equals, oh, actually it's closed for, no, it's open. What am I doing? Oh, you know what I'm doing? I'm like getting confused because I'm like looking at the keypad on the computer, but also pressing buttons on the keyboard as not the same buttons, which uh, that's some insight for you. So one, seven, three, and then C is gonna be uh, two, four, ah, five. Okay, so I can then make the vector uh, a, the vector from A to B is B minus A, right? So let's say that A, B is B minus A. And then uh, the vector from A to C is A, C. Um, and to get that, we do C minus A. 
And then to get the vector from B to C, so starting at B and ending at C, we do C minus B. So this is all review, hopefully. If this is not review, you got to go back and watch the other videos, uh, review the other notes, because it should definitely be review. You do terminal minus initial. That's why the vector from A to B is B minus A, terminal minus initial. Um, now what I'm going to do is find the norm of each of these. So menu 7, 7, enter. Menu 7, 7, enter is like a classic. And then uh, I can type AB or I can choose from list. So we get that. And then I'm going to do the others, AC, BC. And so we showed that they're all equal there. That's another way to do it. Now what I'm going to do is switch over again to uh, GeoGebra and just, I'm, I'm, I don't really know what I'm going to do on GeoGebra. I'm just going to like take a look. So I always, GeoGebra.org, always go to classic. So choose GeoGebra Classic. It gives you like all the options. If you don't choose Classic, you don't have all of the options. When you get here, what you need to do is you need to actually turn on the 3D part. So I click here, which hopefully my picture's not in the way. I don't know what these look like when they like process the video. Turn on 3D graphics. You can also go here again. Uh, you can drag this and just turn off this because we don't need it. There we go. Uh, click this. This, this, this is the setup, right? So click this so that you can see this input and get like all these things in the event that you need them. You really don't need those. What you do need is to be able to see the settings for this particular line. Um, so I'm going to plot the points, four, five, two, and then uh, one, seven, three, and then two, four, five. Okay. So uh, let's see, what do I need to do? I can rotate but really, I think the important, I'm going to zoom out until it's kind of like on the screen. All right, so they're kind of hanging out there. Uh, what can we do? Well, I can put segments between these and then let GeoGebra do the work. Do a segment from A to B. Do a segment from uh, B to C. Do a segment from A to C. And there you go. You can also see your triangle when you do that. Um, another possibility maybe is, uh, can I do like polygon? Um, A, B, C. Okay, I believe that's the area of the polygon. I think it like default spits out area for some reason. I don't know why that's the choice. Like, I don't know, spit out the perimeter, like whatever. Uh, but anyway, you can, you can look at this. You can see, uh, I think always playing around with this kind of stuff is a really good idea. Uh, just like, every tool at your disposal, make sure you're using it and, and that you understand it. So I'm going to switch back to the notes. And then uh, I think I'll come back in the next video and do the rest of this page. So I don't know, I might end up breaking up these notes into more videos than usual. Like some, and the other notes, I usually do like longer videos, but I think this is better, shorter. Um, so we looked at GeoGebra, we looked at the calculator. So I'm going to put a note that just says, uh, Try on calculator, try on GeoGebra. Just so you know, this is, this is where you're getting your like basics in so that when things get more interesting, you've already put in the effort to like be familiar with the tools that we're gonna use. So uh, definitely go do those things if you were just like watching instead of doing, go back and do them. All right, I'll see you in the next video when we're gonna try to finish this page. So see you there.